Hello everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design and I finally have for you my winter collection now that we are hopefully close to spring, but I have eight journals and several embellishment packs and we're going to go through all of them, do a flip through and run through of everything and we're probably looking at a couple of videos so I can get everything in, but I think you'll enjoy it and I hope you'll enjoy it. All of the links, of course, will be in the description boxes of the various videos um, to my Etsy shop where you can find them um, if you're interested. And yeah, so let's get right into it. For this journal, we have a TN style, standard size, nice and chunky. It's got this really pretty fluffy fiber closure that you can keep with it and use it as a standalone journal or you can take it out and include this in a traveler's notebook cover. So it has this fun shaker pocket on the front and then when you open that there's a small pocket here with some vintage tag or not tags tickets in there and then probably a bit of a glare hopefully I can get that for you some gemstones little snowflakes, some ruffled fabric, and this pretty image on the front. A nice woodland scene, or not woodland, winter scene. That's what I was looking for. A little church and a sleigh and the horses. And then when you open up, inside is this fun envelope window pocket. With fun fold out there. Use it for some journaling or pictures or whatever you like. This has a fabric, layered fabric tab. I've hand stitched these bits together and then attached it to the page. And this is some fun uh, vintage Forest Trees of Illinois book. And a Rolodex, altered Rolodex card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some uh, ice skates, some washi, some snowflakes, and lace. And this paper clip has a little snowflake charm on it. Put it back in later. There is this nice card, again from Artie Mays's um, Winter Tales digital kit. And I've got some pretty ruffled fabrics there. A little flip out, and some more stenciling there, snowflakes. And then the other side of the flip is a tuck spot. It has this pretty tag inside. And this is a little Formica chip tag. Another hand-stitched fabric tab there. Some stenciling, nice fabric flip, graph paper, cute little pocket here. Oh, this actually belonged in this little front pocket here. But you have a nice grungy coffee dyed guest check and this cute little bag has just a few goodies in there and each of these TNs will have a bag like this and they'll have similar items in them. And some nice lace on the edge, more snowflake stencils and this is a fun little flip up with some extra journaling space. Nice coffee dyed papers lined and graph. We'll flip out there. Nice fabric. Some green ledger. And another tuck spot. And these are both some coffee dyed papers that fold out. Look like little tags. And another fabric tab. And then a cute belly band with some coffee dyed paper behind it there. And here we have another paper clip with some pretty dangles on it and this is an envelope and inside are just a couple of extras one from Artie Mays and one from um, Mrs. Cox Crafts I think it's Mrs. Cox Crafts I know it's Mrs. Cox I'll have the link down below okay. and some more pretty ruffled plaid fabric and this fun envelope here whoops tag from the other side but that's a paper clip and inside we have some little extras yeah such a pretty stamping here and there's it says snow fund there with the bunny 
or there, I guess he is. And then inside the pocket is this pretty stamped tag. That's a Tim Holtz uh, deer. And then some more vintage tickets for you and a vintage parcel post gummed label. I don't know if that gumming on the back still works or not, but you could just use some regular glue to attach it to a page if you wanted to do that or put it up, put back it with some paper or just tuck it in the pocket. And then on the back there was this nice tall tag with journaling space on the back and some embossed paper. And here we have an envelope pocket with a nice journal card. Some fluffy fibers, papers on the edge there. And another fabric tab. And then we have another pocket here cute again with that wintry hair there and this there he is again little mini notebook and some more coffee dyed papers for extra journaling this page has a tiny flip out there and some more snowflakes and then in the back pocket we have another piece of coffee dyed paper and then this cute little flip out here and I don't offhand remember the shop where I got this, but I will include the link down below and let you know what that is. Okay, and then of course I have my little logo there, and this is the back inside cover. And then on the very back we have another, the other half of the shaker pocket. So it has that. And then inside that pocket we have this cute little folder. It's got the house, and it's like a little ticket, and the Tim Holtz um, die cut. And then inside, there's two pockets and several little extra journaling spaces and tags. And then it has that pretty napkin decoupage there. This cute little squirrel. There's writing lines on the back. Okay. So that is that one. Okay, our next winter journal TN. It's very similar to the last one. It has this nice fluffy fiber crocheted closure for you. And this one has two little beads on the end. And this also has the shaker pocket in the front. This one has a nice winter, uh, winter woodland scene. And it says explore winter. It has more snowflakes there and more of that bling and a snowflake embossed little pocket down here again with the two vintage tickets in it and some ruffled fabric at the edge this is again that little trifold this one has much more blank space so you have more room for writing or whatever you like to do fabric tab it's hand stitched and there's some stenciling underneath and this card has those two little deer on it. This particular journal is very winter woodland feel to it, whereas some of the others are just standard woodland. I mean, standard winter. And we have that charm again on the paper clip. Here we have the two owls and some more of our ruffled fabrics. I'm gonna flip out again. tag has those pretty deer in there and another formica chip tag fabric and I'll go through these much quicker than the first oops again that belongs in that little pocket I mean you can put it wherever you like and again it has just a variety of little doodads in there some extras for you to use as you do your journaling. And that nice grungy guest check. That's the center. Pretty snowflakes. And this envelope. It's very fun. It's the fabric attached to some book page. And inside are two more little goodies. And a pretty squirrel. Some eyelash trim and face. And that has that pretty dangle on it. And it out. 
another tuck spot with both of those are like that, open out like that. And another little owl, fabric tab, and the belly band again with some more coffee dyed paper. It's a pretty ruffle trim. And again, this is very similar to the last one. This one has this hair there and it says warm heart. parcel sticker and the tag with the deer on it and this very tall tag has that pretty wolf on it and of course I had to use the howling winds word to go with him and another of his little notebooks extra journaling space there and a little card like that one And their final page again has some more coffee dyed paper and this little wolf. And on the back we have our shaker pocket, and inside of that is this cute little tag holder with a wintry tree, snow covered, and this little tag, and some snowflakes there and you turn it over and there is another pocket that you can tuck another tag or a journal card or whatever you like in there. And then that is our Explore Winter Woodland Winter Journal.